Hello, in this session we will talk about steps to install Linux on a personal computer running Windows or Mac based operating system. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. Using this strategy, you can install Linux on any operating system, Windows, OS X, even on another Linux and on Solaris as well. You don't have to worry about partitions and all that on your hard disk because the way we're going to install Linux would be first we are going to create a virtual machine on your computer. Once virtual machine software has been installed on your personal computer then we will put Linux on top of virtual machine. Oracle VirtualBox is one of the most popular software out there for virtualization. Another option you have is VMware server. Both will do the job. Oracle VirtualBox software is available for Windows, OS X, Linux and even for Solaris. So this way the operating system of your personal computer is out of the equation. Once you have installed the virtual machine software on your personal computer then you have two options. Option one is after installation of virtual machine software you create a new virtual machine and you download Linux DVD files with .iso extension. You attach those files with this virtual machine and you do the installation as if you're doing the installation on a brand new physical computer. The virtual machine will just behave like a new computer and you can do the whole installation. Now we're gonna take an easy path and the easy path is option two. We want to learn Linux and we want to have access to the Linux operating system with as less efforts as possible. So we are installing the virtual machine software and then instead of downloading Linux DVD files we are downloading the virtual machine. So this is the machine that somebody else created and somebody else installed Linux and then exported this machine as a file. We can download this machine as a file. And it is also known as an appliance because appliance is a term which is used basically for hardware and software together. So once we have downloaded the appliance, we are going to import this appliance into the virtual machine software. There are a few advantages of using virtual machine as opposed to directly installing Linux on a bare hardware. You can easily take snapshots on virtual machines and you can roll back to the previous snapshots. And in case something goes wrong with your Linux operating system, you can say, okay, I want to roll back to where I was at the point of last snapshot. And you can take clones. Let's say you are working on Linux and you want to create a copy of your operating system so that you can also experiment with something else yet you do not want to disturb the current environment. So you can take clones easily and you can bring both clone up at the same time or just bring one clone up and while the other one is, is still down because this depends on how many resources you have available on the actual computer. You can pause your machines while you want to bring some other machine up and so on. So you can do lots of experiments with virtual machine and you can create different scenarios which are not possible using the physical machines. Now having said that we do require some extra resources on the actual computer and these days resources are priced very reasonably so it is not a big challenge. Now you need at least one gigabyte or more memory on your physical computer that you're using and you need at least 10 gigabyte of extra disk space available because the file that you will download the appliance will itself be one gigabyte then once you create the virtual machine it will itself be about four gigabyte so you need some extra space available for the virtual machine software to be downloaded as well so in terms of disk space it's pretty reasonable but in terms of memory you do need uh, one plus gigabyte. If you have four then you're laughing. If you have three it is still that's okay. Two is fine as well. At one it should work properly but could be a little slower. Just to do a recap these are the steps that we will follow. We will download the virtual box software which is the virtual machine that we will be using. You can also download VMware server if you like. Then we will install the virtual box software. Then we will download the Linux appliance and we will then import the Linux appliance into the VirtualBox software and then we will configure the appliance before starting the machine. We want to scale it down a little bit and then once the machine is started 
we will sign in into the Linux operating system.